created my first piece of art. I think it was in my food. I think I sculpted some potatoes or something when I was a kid. <laughs> I let it like sit out and harden. I didn't want anybody to touch it. You know, it was kind of my you know, project. But, you know, my parents ended up throwing it away because it ended up being pretty disgusting after a day or two. But uh, first piece classroom assignment. Uh, just a collage of a bunch of interesting things from a magazine. Still have it. Uh, it's hanging in my house. I won't let that one go. Officially, probably. Um, my mom still has it. Probably some old finger paint stuff did in elementary school. Yeah. I, my first piece was actually of my father. It was my first oil painting ever. And um, it was him standing in a field of one of the last images I ever saw before he got sick. And it was just also my first experience um, with emotion in art and bringing emotion to other people and using um, portraits of people to describe such an intense feeling as losing someone that um, my mom, my whole family, we love so much. My first piece would have been about 12 years ago out of metal and it was an old shoe store sign. We started taxidermy uh, when... A few years ago. A few years ago. Actually our first date was doing taxidermy. It was. I came over to see the house and he said, I've got a freezer full of dead squirrels in my basement if you want to play taxidermy with me. And he taught me how. Love at first sight. Yeah. I went to a peacock farm with my grandmother and um, afterwards I made her a drawing that was a peacock with ribbon on the tail and I curled all the ribbon and a bunch of glitter on it and she kept it on her bedroom door until the day she died. And now I have peacock feather tattoos to commemorate that.